Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Lucy. I am so excited to see you today. I can't believe it's still raining outside, but I'm not letting that slow me down. I decided to do something very special inside since I can't go outside and play. Do you want to see what I did? I made a yummy to the tummy rainy day snack basket. Now, any of our friends that come and visit the clubhouse today can have a delicious snack to brighten up this rainy day. Who doesn't love snacks? We've got muffins, apple slices, fruit snacks, and cheese sticks. These are all of my favorite snacks to share. Ho, ho. It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Ho, ho. A basket of snacks you've got there, do you? Hi, Ollie. Yes, I sure do. I thought I'd do something special for any of our friends that come and visit the clubhouse in the rain. They can reach into this basket and get out a snack. Snacks are special. It's true. But baskets can hold more than snacks, too. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Always got a Bible story for me and you. That should just about do it. Hola, friends. I'm Luis. It's been raining all morning. But now that it's stopped, I can finally work on my project. Oh. But you're here for a story. Do you want to help me build it? Ha <laughs> ha, great. Okay, let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. Okay, you can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. There we go. Now, our true story from the Bible begins in a place called Egypt. Oh, look, it's a baby and his mom. <laughs> Mothers love their babies and take care of them. This baby's name was Moses. Oh, see how much his mom loves him. But the mean Pharaoh in charge of all of Egypt had made a rule. He said that baby boys like Moses had to be taken away. Everyone say, oh no. Ready? Oh no. Baby Moses' mom did not want him to be taken away, but she knew God would take care of him. First, Moses' mom made a special basket. Then she gently laid him in the basket. Now, pretend you're holding a baby. Now put him gently in the basket. Oh, great job. Moses' mom took the basket down to the river. Moses' sister, Miriam, went too. They hid baby Moses in the tall reeds by the river. Moses' mom trusted that God's got it and that God would take care of her baby. So she left him hidden in the reeds. Moses' sister, Miriam, stayed to watch and see what would happen. Hmm. Let's help her watch, okay? Everyone, look around. Keep looking. Do you see anything? Oh, oh. <laughs> it's a frog. <laughs> okay, let's keep looking. Huh? What? You see someone? 
Oh, wow! It's a princess! Ooh, the princess of Egypt! Uh-oh, Baby Moses is crying. Do you think she's going to help? Oh, she is! She is going to help! The princess decided she would take Baby Moses home with her. Just then, Moses' sister Miriam popped up and asked the princess if she needed someone to help her take care of the baby. The princess said yes, and Miriam went to get someone. Hmm, can you guess who she brought to help? Oh, it was Moses' mother. Yay! Moses' mother got to take care of him again. What an amazing story! And what you need to know is that just like God took care of baby Moses, he will always take care of you. He's always with you, so you don't ever have to worry because God's got it. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story. It's all true. God took care of Moses, and he will take care of you, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo! Hoo! Wow, I loved that story. God took such good care of Moses in the basket, and God takes care of all of us, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm taking care of my friends with this basket. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!